What important Easter egg did you miss after the end credits? How has the show hinted that The Professor, Denver, and Helsinki will die in Season 5? And what is the real reason why Tokyo is the narrator? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's discuss all of the above and many, many more. And of course, beware of spoilers. Why did they kill her? Don't know about you guys, but for us, the most shocking moment of the whole series was Nairobi's death. We literally cried when it happened. And despite the fact that Money Heist is extremely tricky, there's no coming back for poor Nairobi. If you want to hear a crazy fact about the showrunners, they played a horrible game with her fans intentionally. Hear me out. Nairobi was shot in the chest at the end of Season 3, but the heist team managed to save her life, which made fans sigh in relief. We also got the feeling that Nairobi was going to be fine after the flashback where she convinced the professor to be her donor for in vitro fertilization. Since then, we believed in Nairobi's dream that one day, she and her future child would unite with her son Axel. But this will never happen. See how cruel the showrunners are? But did they use that horrible twist just to shock the audience? We don't think so. There are at least two more dramatic reasons for Nairobi's death. First, to make Gandia even more loathsome as a villain. Yes, everybody already hates him, but the drama always works better if it's cranked up to the maximum. And second, to make the stakes higher for the gang. Now they have no chance but to finish their heist successfully, because they've already paid a very high price to get to the place where they are now. No way they could stop. And revenge for Nairobi in the next season is inevitable. Easter egg in the credits. After Netflix tapped into the production process, the dynamic of the show has increased dramatically. That's why even the most attentive viewers missed some big plot twists and hidden clues, especially those who skipped the closing credits. Lesson number one of watching Money Heist, never, ever skip the end credits, folks. No, there was nothing to see there, but there was something to hear. During the credits, there's the voice of Najwa Nimri, aka Alicia Sierra, who sings the famous Bella Chow song. Come flores. So what, you may ask? This song is a hymn of La Casa de Papa. We've heard different characters singing it many times, so there's nothing special about that. Well, not really. Because this song is always sung by specific characters in specific situations. Bella Chow is a song of a resistance, and only the gang members sing it, and only in the most iconic moments of their missions. Which means that… Alicia Sierra might join the gang in Season 5! If you recollect everything that happened to her during the last season, this theory may seem like a very probable one. Sierra was introduced in the third season as a terrifying villain. She took part in interrogating Rio by torturing him. She implanted a microphone under his skin. And she was responsible for Nairobi getting shot at the end of season three. Villainous villain. Though, soon after, she became a victim of her own actions. The professor didn't lose his chance to tell the world about what she had done. And soon after, she became a punching bag. Alicia Sierra has lost all of her friends. Maybe she never really had them. But she never understood that until the moment she got betrayed by the government. So, doesn't it look like the perfect time for Sierra to find some new friends? Obviously, no one should trust her, but hey, this wouldn't be the first time the heist team dealt with a shady character. Berlin, Palermo, and even our Arturo are good examples of that. Though the gang can capitalize on collaborating with Alicia Sierra. And she can capitalize on collaborating with the gang too. If Sierra joins the heist, she would need a city name. Hmm, what name would that be? How about Sydney? She definitely has a talent for putting things upside down. Do you get the joke? Huh? Sydney, Australia, upside down. Uh, never mind. Will the professor die? The very last shots of season four show Alicia pointing a pistol at the professor, ready to shoot him. But will she really kill him? Yes, we've already talked about the theory that Alicia will join the gang, so she doesn't have a reason to kill the professor. But what if that theory is wrong? Does it mean that season five will start with the murder scene of the professor? Very unlikely. At least, not at the very beginning of season five, because the professor's too important of a character to die that fast. In case Alicia would like to earn back some standing with the government, she would need the professor alive. That's for sure. But not for too long, though. Here comes the really mind-blowing theory about the professor and his possible death in season five. Do you remember the afterlife scene in episode six? 
where Nairobi dies and gets into the place where the rest of the killed heist members live, Berlin, Moscow, and Oslo, all of them are there greeting Nairobi in the afterlife. The spooky thing about this scene hides in the clothes all the characters are wearing and the location where they meet. If you were super attentive, you would have noticed that this scene was shot just like the flashback at the beginning of episode 5. Just look at these shots! Berlin, Moscow, Nairobi, and Oslo look completely the same as in the afterlife scene. Is it just a coincidence, or were both of these scenes about the afterlife? In this case, all of the characters we can see in the flashback will die too! The Professor, Denver, and Helsinki. Wow. If that was intentionally hidden by the showrunners, then Money Heist will get on an entirely new level of storytelling. Do you guys believe in this theory, or is there no chance it could be real? Because if the professor dies, that means that another heist won't be possible. He's the smartest guy on the team. Netflix can't just kill him, right? Or can they? What happened to Sophia? Now, here comes one of the most important questions that all the fans have. Or at least those who are true pet lovers. Yes, we're going to talk about Marseille's ferret, Sophia. Sophia had an important role in the professor's plan. In order to win more time, the professor decided to use the ferret as a decoy, while Rio's GPS tracker in order to trick the police into thinking the heist gang was escaping into the sewers. Time is money, or rather, time is gold. That's why we can surely say that this cute little ferret is worth its weight in gold. But what happened to Sophia at the end of her operation? We saw her wearing a tiny red jumpsuit and heading to the police in the sewers. And that's it. No sign of her. Was she caught by the police? Most probably yes, she was. The police will keep her as evidence and, knowing that Marseille is an animal lover, as a hostage? Fine, we're kidding. You can't use a ferret as a hostage. But on the other hand, we have a feeling that Marseille will try to get his Sophia back in Season 5. So we'll probably see another intense but tiny jailbreak plan for Sophia. How will they escape the bank? The gang had a great escape plan for their first heist, to dig a tunnel. But what about escaping the bank? Well, that's the biggest mystery of their heist, because they didn't plan to dig another tunnel, that's for sure. And even if they wanted to, that wouldn't work anyway, because you can't do the same trick twice, right? More than that, the gang plans to escape the bank along with 90 tons of gold, which sounds like an insanely impossible thing to do because the bank is surrounded by both police and military forces. So how will they escape the bank? We on our awesome channel think that the key element in the escape plan will be gold. Face it, the heist team doesn't need money anymore. Each member of the team has millions of euros. They had that much money that dropping a couple million euros over Madrid wasn't a big deal for them at all. And remember that they started the second heist not because of the money, but because they wanted to rescue Rio. So they definitely don't need 90 tons of gold for themselves, but maybe they can use it as payment for outside help? Since the heist is a huge deal for the whole country, there must be lots of people who support the gang instead of the government. A similar situation happened in the first season, where the professor ordered money to the hostages in order for them to switch sides. And that worked! Maybe a similar scheme would work in Season 5? Or maybe the professor will come up with another brilliant idea. The thing is, we don't yet know who will head the police in Season 5, because Alicia's gone. Colonel Tamayo's not patient enough to handle the operation and negotiating process, and he still needs to get over that helicopter trick. Who else is left? Angel? He's smart. Very smart. But he isn't a leader. So it looks like there's no one to rule the negotiating process for now. At least there will be a new character introduced in Season 5, and that will be a turning point for the professor to understand what steps should be taken next in order to escape. Will Tokyo be the only one to survive? Do you have a feeling she's the main heroine of the story? We don't. She's obviously a central character, but so is the professor and Rio and Lisbon and Denver, but Tokyo is the one who narrates the story from the very first episode. We're sure that you've seen movies and TV series where there's a narrator who retells a story that happened a long time ago. The narrator can be sitting in jail or in a nursing home or wherever, but there's always a reason why they pick a specific person to be the narrator. And most commonly, it's because that person is the only one who survived. Remember the theory with the afterlife flashback? It could mean that all the characters are gonna die, except Tokyo. Crazy, right? But hey, don't get too upset. We're just talking about theories and possibilities. The showrunners will probably find the best way to surprise all of us. And talking about killing characters, they should definitely start with Arturo Roman in Season 5. Toro. You're going to put that G36 on the floor in approximately three seconds, because if you don't, you're a dead man. Because this man is at the top of everybody's list of the most hated characters. See, that's the difference between you and me, Governor. 
I came here to save all these people. If 2020 was a person, it would be Arturo. Or Alicia, for that matter. And what are your thoughts about the next season? Do you have any crazy theories about what might happen? Feel free to share them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay safe, stay home, the lockdown's almost finished, and most importantly, stay awesome.